That is a woman. That should tell us that behind every unsuccessful man. That is one unfortunate woman. The same thing goes for the uh, woman too. Did there somebody told me the meaning? He was trying to analyze the meaning of complete and finish. When you look at the two words, complete and finish, they almost mean the same. I ask say, have you finished your work? I've completed it. But somebody said, if you are married to the right woman, he said you are complete. The wrong one. Is that your <laughs> so I I when my sister I was here there so I see the I began to ask a lot of questions what bless me bear bear no shishi because uh, we we have known each other now for the past um, is it 20 years or more but want to more that will last be a good to say 25 years aha uh-huh. maybe she when she Come on, she will say what she wants to say. Let me do But I thank God that uh, when, when, she I when she eventually contacted me, I was happy when I heard you know, that I was happy. One of the things I was thinking with him is that so there would still be some husband that would understand the passion of the wife. Because if you, your husband didn't allow you, there is nothing you are going to do. If you are making every effort, so you discover that behind it is because your home is good. It's because your husband is supporting you. That is why it's possible. And she makes us understand that our spouse are the first so I want to call on this other here. I Baba is going to shout one thunderous hallelujah. No, he's going to even shout to himself because there was a great one. You know, I am happy for you. And I know it there is any challenge you are still having. By the reason of this time, by the, by the grace. That is on the of the the of Every of those challenges we met in the by the grace of God, by the grace of God, we are uh, we honor this occasion as a representation of a body of people that have time with this family. And uh, as a group, I, I have to speak on behalf of us, saying that uh, we really appreciate that we'll be given to come so and so Because of the shortness of time, I'd like us to look at Abacock. Chapter 2, verse 1. Abacock, chapter 2, verse 1. To 3. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And we watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run the read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end of it, at the end it shall speak and not what lie. Though so it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not what tarry. Praise the Lord. Because of our time also, Acts chapter 26. Acts 26. Verse 19 particularly. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. Amen. Amen. I want to believe that God has called us to this intercessory for our purpose. First, it talks about the vision. I want us to pray in line from that angle. Because this is complete obedience to a particular vision. 
If you know what has been in this occasion, in fact, when I was coming, Yesterday, thinking of coming here. Since I've been in Lagos, I've never seen that type of order. Hold up, plot us. Go slow, move We have to carry the vehicle, go and sleep. What the last loss you see, Bobby? And came back on foot. What the last one by USC? Yes, the old up was still from four o'clock till ten o'clock. Old up, yes, you can see. Added to that, like was never to go see. The vehicle almost caught fire. That's to tell you that. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's to tell you that something has begun. Now you know why I want to pray. Whatever is taking place in a man when there is no vision, it will not carry power. And, and because vision in, is in it, emptiness will not be there. Emptiness will not be there. The first symbol you will discover is a parental role. It says, children, obey your parent in the Lord. Because one comment is said in the book of, of Ephesians chapter 6. Honestly speaking, seen parents that is spiritual. Sitting near me, sitting opposite the, the vessel. So what's your joke or see you at your table? That's number one joy. Yeah, me it do not like coco. Then biological parents. I will be too one. Also honoring this occasion. So what's it more? I go I I coco you lay. Add that with the fact that our our uh, moderator that has been like a comedian. I want to want to tell you want to be. I want to have them by you. Flood the ground. What is what is what is that we see like? It shows that we have a husband that have given a release. That means he ought to be also be or to be or continue to fear you. I don't know what I'm making sense in the house. You know, but I'm going to celebrate God on that behalf. Since 2007. Last 2007. But then I was still in Wema Bank. Nick Banya, what was in Wema Bank? Any some cash like that. Last year, what's on bar? Or what did they do? So I never even bother myself about any ministry. Well, well, yes, Nick Banya, I think, Lord. And I don't even want to leave. What's the first thing they slept? But it came to a point. Oh, that Coco come. The Lord insisted. Alone, alone. So we pay that you must resign. Oh, but official slept. I was not worried if I resign now. What will I be doing? I was about to talk about official slept. You need to come and share. Sincerely, the day I resigned. It's a point that you want to fish your ceiling. February 2008. The February 2008. Everybody in my branch. Don't go. I want to just share more. Broad Street branch of women. The Broad Street, the women. They were wondering, what is your problem? One is not show one. Why are you so excited because you resigned? Can you know I said to the report of fish your I was extremely excited. You don't try to want to get it. And I myself, I cannot explain it. I want to know why. One more dear. My boss now called me down. Tell me what is the problem? Oh, that was a go, but can you show Are you traveling now? Say, if I call in Nigeria, I said no. One day wrong. That God said I should be going to villages. Oh, no, Nika, I'm a lossy. I be preaching the gospel. Last time I get there, you know. Is that why you are so excited? I say, continue. I feel good, yeah. So everybody can see the joy. I wait, you know, we you know, do the yeah. And the excitement all over. I see, no, yeah, no, no, no. Even though I do not even really know how to go about. See what? Yeah, more be one shame. I learn it by it. But one thing was so clear to me. You come and see that Allah did not turn on. I heard God. One more on along. And He also gave me the grace. Oh, see, for one year we are fair. To obey. So I resigned. Officially. And over time, Fuan Coco dear. God kept on giving me instructions. Giving me the modality. Last he costle. And that is how we started. In January 2018. And the first place we went to. Oh, we talk about law. Is a fanlay. Is a fanlay. Yes, to carry out the mission work. Last he beg, he shall not that day. We put some of the pictures there. I feel I want, I will run out. All the places we have been. I want to be too much long. They are just few. 
Because of space. We just put few there. For us to see what we are doing. Lati re our cut in what's in January 2009. Lati January 2009. The ministry is fully registered. I be one year or two one year because those are part of discussion game. Oh my God, Lulu, we can see a lot of before with the corporate affairs commission. Lati see for us to work on. Since that 2009, last year 2009, Amen. I was still so passionate about my business. Also, Lati so I didn't really grab it well. Well, because uh, I love marketing. Jesus said, "Just to see we've paid come and market for me." And since then, that's it, I've not regretted it. Well, God, I'm on. Andy, Hallelujah. Amen. 16 verse 18. Matthew 16 18. Matthew 16 18. It says, And I say also unto thee, Matthew 16 18, I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I didn't hear a good amen. amen. So, but thou art Peter. He was it. He was in the pit. And I say unto you, the Mrs. Safu thou a Peter. He was in the better room. I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against me. Let me have your attention very quickly. And I want you to listen to me. You give us a rundown of what the Lord has been doing with you. You're bringing in the fellowship dimension. Which is another level of ministry. But having been around for, for a few years, I understand what the Lord wants the fellowship to do. From it, you are going to have prayer back up. From it, you are going to have human resources. From it, you are possibly going to have financial resources. Moral support. At the base. People interceding for you. Right from it, you have sons and daughters that will also go with you. Are you listening to me? But listen, look at what the Bible says. And for every minister that is in the house here, so you, should, you already know this in case you are forgotten. It says, I will build my church. Everybody say, I will build my church. This is I want to stop. Say, I will build my church. Say, I will build my church. In other words, what the Lord is saying, it is my church. You know, it is my fellowship. This work belongs to him. It is not your own. Are you hearing me now? It does not belong to you. We pastors, leaders, understand this. You will stop crying in the night. You will stop worrying in the night. There are ministers who are 35 years old. When you see them, they are like 55 years. What that be over 55 years old? They have lost hair. Because they have taken the work of God. The, what is supposed to be God's own. They carried it on their head. There's what you call the sovereignty of God. And there's what you call the responsibility of man. You so have your role. And God has his own. It is not your work. Many people have taken it as their work. And they have lost their marriages. Some have taken it as their work. And they have lost their children to the world. Why are they attending to the carrying the work of God on their head? They lost their children. Some lost their head. Some lost many things around them. I, in the front of every witness that is here today, I make God to tell you and your husband that it is not your work. It is not your church. You are just a laborer in the work of God. 
God began in Genesis 1. You know, in the beginning, the Bible says God created heaven and earth. The was that form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. You know, the first initial things that you see is uh, shapelessness. That's then void, which means empty. Then uncertainty. Those three things sometimes might confront a work that is just starting. But no matter what happened, she should not allow her spirit to be under. The Bible says, and the spirit of God was on the face of the deep. If her spirit is on top, what is not there today will be there tomorrow. Then what is not having shape today will be having shape tomorrow. Then, you know, so what is, what is, what, you know, that's just it. The uncertain thing that is not seen, she might be able to see it tomorrow. So she just needs to begin like God began. That's what I would say. Yes. All those that will want to work with her, one of the things I will want to say is that they should try and find out what God is saying to her. You know, because you see, if they know what God is telling her, it will be easy to follow her. But if not, they might even offer her an alternative. That's one. So they should try and find out what is God saying to her as a person. What is God saying to Moses? If you know, if, people, if the people of Israel had known what God was, was saying to Moses, the Bible says, He showed Moses his ways, but the children of Israel his acts. So some of them didn't bother to know what really the way is. So many of them got wasted. So they should try to find out what God is showing to them. Then showing to her. Then two, they should be patient. Then gradually, you know, they will begin to see the hand of God, whatever God is telling them. When God uh, gives a call, you know, there is uh, nothing we can do about it. The only thing we can just do is to ask God for direction and then, you know, follow the direction appropriately. So that is exactly what I have done. This year has started, you know, since around 2009, she has been traveling. And, uh, you know, as the husband, I've been trying to be supportive, you know, to, you know, keep the home front, you know, whenever is uh, necessary, you know, and also to contribute my part, you understand, to the ministry, knowing that it is the work of God, you know, <laughs> it has to be done. So that is just my attitude to it. Uh, for all the people who God has called, you know, they should go and read the book of Jonah. You know, because uh, if God has called you and you refuse to heed to the call, you know, God has a way of, uh, you know, not being happy about it, you know, so that you not be replaced by another person. So the best thing is, you know, for you to answer the call of God. Mm. You're welcome. For her and the husband is that, you see, everything should be done in humility, in the love of Christ, and also in meekness. That's what actually enhances ministry. Whatever God sends you, don't look unto man, but look unto God. And with that, you will make the Lord will make a way for you. Sir? My message to her. My message to her is that according to what God has told her, it should not depart from the ministry God has laid into her hand. And I know once he's doing that, the Lord will always make a way out. She will not suffer, neither will she complain of anything. Because the Lord is there as her inheritance and supplier. Because the Bible says the Lord's hand is not short, that you cannot do it. So, very happy. I'm very happy to, to, to follow her because I like, I like, a, I like a people that have a vision. And I thank God for my life that God gave me opportunity to follow her, to 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 help out and to to carry the vision, to carry the vision out, to make the vision to come to reality to the level that is on shelf. If you le to enu mi do be mo tele mo alonje fun oni ashiyori to ripe ashiyori mo ashiyori te mi non. What you mo man ni fun oni pe come on Pogbo, I want thirty a shift. Come out, Jack, come out, a king and war. No, you go come out, war, won't tell on the column, on tell on fair cotton shake. That means come on Pogbo, Tom, my shake, or I can't allow my daddy won't come out, Fiara shake, Toba de Fara shake, go along, Tisha, or come, where she bury me, tell all the same, where she moon to tune, born, tell the month of a shame, balance, the month of a shame, say, Latin shake, fair. 
Answering God is the best that anybody can do in this life. And what she has just done is to take the course that the Almighty has said before her. And the encouragement is, hold Jesus. Hold Jesus. Hold on to him. As you hold on to him, everything will work right. And everything will succeed and you finish well. When I first take the, uh, the call of God to go into the villages, I was afraid. I felt, ah, they used to kill somebody in village. Oh, I won't be killed. But God kept on giving me assurance. I was afraid because there are places I've never been to before. I've never been to all those villages. I've never been there. So once God is giving me the direction and the name and is connecting me to people that he wants me to go and assist in their, in their churches, I take my bag and I go. And the Lord has been faithful. He's been granting us journey mercy to and fro and he's been supplying all the needs. What we have in mind now is that we have a fellowship arm. From that fellowship arm, we have uh, more hands to support us in the mission work, to support us financially, to support us uh, in terms of uh, prayer, in terms of uh, uh, you know provisions, material things. Because in the mission field, we are also into educating the you know the pupils, and then we give health care. Uh, to the elderly ones, and we also support the widows. Yeah, so we are looking at uh, diversifying, you know, into all those aspects as we are having this fellowship arm of the mission. Mm. I really want to appreciate my husband. He has been very supportive because, like I said, we used to go to the feed. We spent two two weeks, sometimes three weeks, and most time I'll go to for retreats that I will spend 14 days to retreat. So he has been supportive. He has been allowing me to go. He would never say don't go. And he has never doubted me that this one that said he's going to mission feed. I hope he's not going to meet a man. He has never for once doubted me. I appreciate God for his life. And I know that as I continue in this mission work, he also will continue to support me. He has been supporting me both morally, you know, financially, spiritually, in all ramifications. And I know that as many as God are calling into ministry, they should answer because God will surely support them. God will always be there for them. They should not be afraid. They should take it up. They should step out. The Lord has called. Faithful is he. He will do the work. In Jesus' name.